Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. This is gonna be for Aries for the second half of your October from the 16th to the 31st. First, we're gonna take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at the person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation, switch roles if you want, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels the links for those are in the description box below also if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading with me the link for that is also in the description box below so aries what messages do we have here for aries and love regarding the person that they're connecting with for the second half of the october from the 16th to the 31st sun moon rising venus sign so the three of wands here and the justice card could be a situation that, you know, with the Three of Wands here and the Justice card, there could be someone that you're dealing with here that is planning commitment here with you, okay? Yeah, King of Wands here, Aries, Little Sagittarius Energy could be dealing with another fire sign here. I mean, you could be planning commitment. Your person could be planning commitment here. But I do feel like there's a lot of passion between you and your person at this time here, okay? There's a true passion and desire to move forward here, all right? Uh, we also have the Nine of Wands here and the Four of Swords. Now, uh, one person could have a passion and desire to move forward and another, pa and another person has a passion and desire to end things here because with the Four of Swords here and the Nine of Wands, this could be an indication that someone here ended a connection here with somebody due to all the pain and all the hurt that they've endured here, yeah. There is someone here that's holding back. There is someone here that's disengaged from this connection here. The Three of Wands. And the Star, Aquarius Energy. Justice. And also the Eight of Wands here. It could be. It could also be a situation, let's say if someone here has a passion and desire to connect with you here and there's separation, someone here is coming back around, communicating here with you and letting you know that they want this here. Now, someone here could be breaking no communication if there's uh, no communication between you and your person here. The King of Wands here in the world. It does seem like one person wants to end something and then another person wants to continue this here. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, seems like you guys are not on the same page. You're not seeing eye to eye here with the Page of Cups and the Four of Swords. The Nine of Wands. In the page of pentacles here it seems like someone here is definitely offering some sort of uh, some sort of apology here for hurting you okay uh but you know with the four of pentacles here in the nine of pentacles this could be you here virgo energy pre-empress energy you could be this person here that's kind of like you know what i just want to be on my own right now i don't need this i don't have time for this here and you are done with this but someone here still wants this here okay tell the person that aries is dealing with what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Aries? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Aries? For October 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the second half of their October. So we have the Ace of Cups here and the Seven of Swords. Seems like whoever this person is, this person is still very much in love with you, but this person has a tendency to lie, to be deceptive here. This person has a tendency of walking away. When the going gets tough. And now that you've seen this person do this over and over again, Aries, you could be in this energy of like, you know what? If this person can walk away so easily, you know, I'm going to walk away too, but I'm not going to go back around towards this person here where I feel like this person walks away and then comes back, walks away and then comes back. We have the page of swords here. So what we have here, I, I do feel like this person's trying to communicate with you. This person's spying on you. This person is, you know, checking up on you here. The tower, Aries Scorpio. 
and the Ace of Swords. Seems like their feelings towards you is very, 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 very strong with the Sun card and the Ace of Cups here. With the Death card here and the Seven of Swords, you know, I feel like this person knows that this can't come back around again. They know that it's over. And they feel like this person could be coming to that realization here. Like, I feel like their heart is bursting with love here. Their heart is being overwhelmed with their feelings here towards you. Eight of Cups here and the Devil. Capricorn energy. Seems like this is an individual here that has like narcissistic tendencies here. Like, I feel like this person uses their narcissistic tendencies to control, to play games here, to try and control someone here. The Page of Swords and the Two of Cups. Definitely a strong soul tie that you guys have here. But also it's very toxic. We have the Strength card here and the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. And the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords here. This person is not going to have any sort of boundaries here. They're going to push your boundaries, okay? They're trying to be patient here, but I feel like this person doesn't have that capability or the ability to do that. I do feel like, you know, you do have this strong love towards this person here, but I do feel like you're realizing that you can't be around this individual. What else do we have here for Aries? What else does Aries need to know, look out for, work on for the second half of their October from the 16th to the 31st? We have the Two of Pentacles here and the Seven of Cups. Here's the thing. If this person does come back around, they're just going to continue to juggle here. Yeah, they're just going to continue to juggle here. And I feel like this person is going to continue to lie about it. This person is going to con continue to cover up their stories here. Okay. We have Temperance here. Sagittarius energy moving forward. Uh, you know, I just feel like you guys are maintaining your peace here. Okay. Um, I do feel like you guys are definitely making plans to also maybe physically move just to get away from this individual. All right, we have the Knight of Wands here. I mean, this person's going to be okay, to be quite honest here. It doesn't matter if this person loves you, but if this person is running around exploring other options, you know, then they're fine. Because if they really wanted to be with you, they wouldn't be running around exploring other options here. They would be working on themselves here and trying to make their way back to you here in the correct way. Two of Pentacles in Judgment, Sagittarius Energy, Seven of Cups, and the Magician here. Yeah, I just feel like you're just going to go off on your own and manifest on your own here. This person's definitely going to feel very defeated here. I feel like this is you. You're turning your back on the situation, okay? You're moving away from it. You're keeping your peace and your balance here, all right? Uh, two of Wands. Then the Four of Wands. Like, you will always be for, their forever main person here. It's just that I, it just seems like this person just can't get, get their life straight here. Yeah. It seems like they're always thinking about you here. They, they, you know, I feel like they always come back to you. But like I said, this person's always exploring other options. Even when you're not around, even though this person's feeling this way, they're still exploring other options here. When they should be working on themselves and trying to make their way back to you in the correct way. So, Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.